Right, so that's me. Um, glad to see you here. And uh, I'm very happy to see a lot of familiar faces among the name patron of our today's meeting. And uh, yes, so this is the stick I'll have to look out for. Um, it's a true pleasure to welcome you or to give to speak a welcome address on behalf of IUGG. And uh, I'm not sure if you know or if you're aware of that I, uh, the GFZ is already hosting the Secretariat of IUGG in its 10th year. Um, so with this, I would simply uh, focus you on the mission of the IUGG, which is, of course, uh, well, the International Union of Ge Geodesy and Geophysics. And we are an international organization which is dedicated to advancing, promoting, and communicating knowledge of the Earth system. You all know about this. In particular, the dynam dynamical pro processes which are causing changes are in the focus of our joint work. We have constitu constituent associations, which uh, YASPI, your mother association, is one of these commission services and uh, the IUGG convenes international assemblies and workshops where of course this one is uh, one among and uh, I will come later on, uh, on to the uh, general assemblies. Uh, we liaise with uh, scientific bodies, we play an advocate role uh, in particular with the UNESCO and of course the International Science Council where we conducted to and we contribute to education works to expand capabilities and the participation worldwide. Uh, not to forget at this stage that we receive uh, funding uh, at national level from the German uh, Research Foundation, the Deutsche Forschungsgemeinschaft. Um, so setting the scene, uh, the IUGG is sort of a rooftop organization which eight uh, associations among these and you can see uh, they, they reach from IACS, which is on the cryosphere, uh, geodesy, uh, aeron aeronomics and uh, gravity and uh, well, water sciences, YAMAS, YAPSO, and then you can see the YASPI, of course, uh, seismology, physics of the Earth's interior, and YASSAI, our volcano ecologies. And I think here, where it is marked in, in orange, the inter-association activities, there you find the International Heat Flow Commission. Uh, we have union commissions as well and so you see it's sort of zoo of different activities at different levels with uh, with services with union commissions working groups uh, that's the frame the current leadership of the IUGG the XCOM uh, elected at Montreal meeting and valid until next year's uh, next general assembly so you can see here Kathy Whaler is our president she's from Edinburgh UK Chris Resource from Australia is the president-elect. My colleague Niels Andersen from Denmark is our treasurer. And then we have three uh, board members from US, the Czech Republic, and China. Franz Kuglic, uh, so he is the most important person, the executive secretary. He is running the secretariat, as mentioned, in his 10th year. And the past president, Michael Sideris, is uh, giving his valuable hints uh, on our work. We have uh, the presidents of the associations here, and I would like to point out where I, well, obviously it's not my position to do that, but I think we are very glad that we have reached already 550%, so four of the uh, posts are filled by, by women, so it's uh, Lisa Andreas and Mira and Dave Mandea, uh, Barrett Orheimer and Joyce Banner, and here you can see your presidents, which is Yaspai and Yafsai, so it's Kenji Sotaka and Petri Salah. Um, this is a short overview over the memberships we have currently. So the dark blue ones are paid and valid memberships. The light green, did I say blue? No, green, of course. Uh, so the, it's, uh, the, the, the green countries you have already identified. The light green ones are former members which have now uh, an observable status because due to the lack of paid membership fees. And uh, the, the few, what is it, uh, light yellow ones are countries which never has been in activities with the IUGG. And with this I come on, the, on our communication channels. We have a website of course which is currently under relaunch so I expect to have it uh, in place with new content and uh, in, uh, in about a month hopefully. We have social media channels of course so it's Facebook on Twitter and YouTube where we put and most important it's our e-journal, our monthly newsletter, which we always uh, publish by 
the first of the month, and we had established a chapter of a new chapter of, uh, called um, "People at the Forefront." Some, well, about two and a half years ago, um, where we have now collected more than 20 profiles, and with the recent issue, which is from June this year, you can see Johannes Schweitzer from Norse, Norway. He's the Secretary General of the JASPI. And now, with no further ado, I would like to introduce our activities focused on next year. And I hope, of course, to see many of you there back again when we, have, we are going to hold the 28th uh, IOGG General Assembly, which will be taking place between uh, July 11th and 20th here in Berlin, so in a year from now. And uh, we are currently uh, preparing the, uh, at different levels the, the program and the, the, the regular uh, contributions we are going to see. Uh, so the SPC, the Scientific Program Committee, has set the frame and I think uh, there are of course interactions between the associations and you at the working group levels. Uh, so hopefully we will see there more contributions from the Heat Flow Commission next year. The General Assembly in Berlin is, well, despite increasing numbers of infections, always planned in an uh, on-site uh, version with probably some additional hybrid components. And I expect there that we have uh, the call for contributions expected for uh, October this year. So please stick to this website. But I think there's also some flying material here at this table. And with this, I wish you a very fruitful constructive exchange uh, in the next days from now, from today or from yesterday already until Wednesday, I guess. Um, hope you can enjoy and uh, please do not complain about the rain because those of you who have been arriving by Saturday or yesterday, they know it was necessary that we had some drops of it. Otherwise, we would have been difficulties, not only with the forest fires southwest of us. Uh, so enjoy your work. Thanks to the team of Sven and his colleagues uh, to make it possible and we are very glad to see that the, that the circus in presence is coming up again. Okay, enjoy! <laughs>